What's up, everybody? It's Kyle from K to Z, and welcome back to some more of the Steam Summer Games demos. It says the Cyanide and Happiness. You may have heard of it. It's a funny little comic. Uh, they also have a YouTube channel and all this other stuff. Anyway, this is Freakocalypse. And to click to start. I thought it was controller compatible. It is not. Stop right there, criminal! Well, what's a fella gotta do to wander these halls freely? That's simple enough. You just gotta grab a holly pack. But you're not gonna get one without a damn good reason, though. So don't get your hopes up, Buster. Oof. Holly pass? Don't you mean hall pass? No, they changed it on account of how great I am at this job. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. Nope. Yes, huh? Nah, uh. <laughs> yes, huh? Times a million. Oh my goodness. Damn. She has more yes, huhs than me. You win this round. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ugh. Holly's been riding my ass since day one. I gotta find somebody who can help me make a fake hall pass. Then I can wander around freely without her constantly braiding down my neck. Okay, welcome to Freakopsis. You play as the reluctant hero, Co Coop. Help him navigate all sorts of terrible, horrible, no good, very bad situations by pointing and clicking on everything you see. We'll see your. We'll show you the basics. There's a big world there and it needs to be explored. Use the Waz keys or click to walk around. Coop can walk by can walk by holding down the left shift key. Whenever your cursor changes to an arrow in a doorway, you can click to walk through and enter a new location. Coop can look and touch, talk to most things and people, inanimate or otherwise. If your cursor changes to a question mark, you can click to see what Coop what Coop can do with the object, and then select your desired interaction. Raising the touch interaction on things, so Coop can keep it, and automatically add it to his backpack inventory, like the true kleptomaniac he is. Use the talking direct to initiate a conversation. Progress through the log by clicking anywhere on the screen. Press the tab here to click on the backpack icon in the left corner on the screen to open up and close Coop's backpack. Is blah blah blah. Whenever you receive an item, notification. Click once on item to bring it up. You can combine items by dragging and dropping. Try dropping inventory items into objects in the environment to see what happens. Because life often gets overwhelming and just downright confusing for Coop. He keeps a very detailed and very handy di diary, scratched out, uh, notebook. Press the escape key to click on the, or click on the notebook icon in the lower right corner of the screen to open it. Inside is, oh my god, there's so much this game. This is just a demo. This is yours, currently has a map. That's the cool things you accomplished or not. Who well, wants to play dress up with the clothing finds for all your aisle video and the settings of the game? You can save it and exit and view the tutorial again if you want. Navigate the tabs. Escape gets you out or hit resume. For any other questions or bug reports, kindly report them to them on the thing. Cool. Now grab it. Go, go, gadget arms. Damn, didn't work. <laughs> Speaker, I barely knew her. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Oh god, this is gonna be a long. Speakers are for hearing, not looking. Shut up. Exit. I get it. I'm short. I know a girl with an exit-only tattoo on her butt. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> it's an exit sign. Looks like the educational system hasn't completely failed me after all. Yay! Grab things. Feels like a poster, but that's debatable. You're cute as a cupcake, poster, which is something no one has ever said to me. Aww. A bake sale in town. How come our cafeteria doesn't serve anything this appetizing? I can't go there without a hall pass. Oops. Nice binding. Very good book. Fit for a king. I hope I'm not being too forward when I say you're a very attractive book. I heard that book really sucked you in. Might have to check it out sometime. <laughs> this guy really likes to mull over his book purchase decisions. Oh, there's a book fair. I really shouldn't. I wouldn't want to interrupt his train of thought and make him start over his entire decision process. <laughs> what you looking at? I'm trying to pick out a new book to read. What kind of books do you like? In, I like all kinds of stuff, really. inconclusive, Basically, so inconclusive. <laughs> focus on a meek protagonist trying to help people out in an apocalyptic setting. Boring. Uh, ah. Yeah, I meekly agree. Need help finding something? Absolutely not. Well played, uh, skeptical book guy. Sweet. Chat is picking.
picked me up like that before, but it was by the neck. She's your popular cheerleader type who hates guys like me. I'm pretty sure Chet would pulverize me for being close to her. Actually, she'd probably pulverize me too. <laughs> hey, uh, guys, would you mind uh, stepping aside so I can get into my locker? Excuse me. Mm, yeah, that's a good feeling. Uh, <laughs> hello. Mm, I like that. Mm, mm. Um. <laughs> you know, this is actually starting to turn me on. You know, this is actually starting to turn me on. Shut. He's really creeping me out. <laughs> you perverted little shit! I'm trying to suck face with my babe! I just can't help it. It's like watching two earthworm sumo wrestle. I just want to stare harder. That's it! I can't do this here! <laughs> There's a great spot under the bleachers outside where we can continue our mega make out hey, session. In the locker room, he said the bleachers. But first. Hey everyone! Coop's a pervert who likes to watch us make out! Let's kick his ball. Finding me creepy still has its perks. That's where I keep all my stuff, and where people often stuff me. After graduation, I'll miss having my head slammed into you, old buddy. Damn it! It's jammed shut from all the times I was smashed into it by bullies. <laughs> I could pop it open if I had a pencil. Need a pencil to pop it open? Okay. It's a plastic zip baggie. If you really need more detail than that, I can't help you. No. Are you trying to escape from the trash can, little baggie? I'll save you. Plastic baggie. I've got a baggie. From the trash. I feel like I just saw a glimpse into my future. Okay. I can't go there without a hall pass. I can't go there without a hall. You can't leave the building without a hall pass? Fancy velvet ropes. These keep fancy people in a. Hi there. Can I take it. Ropes. These are way too fancy for me to interact with. Lame. Uh, can I go into the janitor's room? Damn, the door's locked. I've always wondered what creepy stuff the janitor keeps in there. Bummer. What about in here? Classroom 101. What the fuck did I just walk into? Look at all these goody two shoes. Oh, no. To the Hall of Fame. I'll never make it on there unless they make a Hall of Infamy. Keep it up, everyone. I hope this is the only recognition you ever get, you fucking jerks. <laughs> It's a vent. I get it. I'm sure. Okay. Touching their photos is as close as I'll ever. That's kind of creepy. Oh, it's a bell. At least I know I've always got someone to vent to. <laughs> God, I wish I had more friends. <laughs> oh, the bad puns. I still can't unsee what was on the other side of that chalkboard. I better not. I'm afraid of my fingers getting caught in the gears and whatever other weird shit is behind there. Oh, don't be afraid of kinks. Good talking to you. Yeah, I'm just gonna steal this pen. That's all. You're coming with me, my groovy graphite companion. Everyone knows better than to touch Mr. Murphy's ominous red button. Do they? Last time I did that, Mr. Murphy flogged me. It was painful, but still gentle to my needs. Please tell me I'm having a fever dream. That's what this is, right? <laughs> You can only hope. I could feel the memories of a hundred years worth of boogers stuck to this. Well, I guess let's talk to him. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Mr. Murphy? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Why don't you do why don't you do this at home? Do you need help? Will you go to prom with me? I'm gonna press this from my memory. Bye. Be good, bro. 
Fine by me. You weren't my first choice for a prom date. Fuck you. You need help? help? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm flexible enough to pull off the necessary amount of torque. What's that, boy? Is little Timmy stuck in a well? Show me, boy, show me! <laughs> oh, he's not stuck and he's hiding from you? Is that even possible before Labor Day? <laughs> Suit yourself, no pun intended. Why don't you do this at home? <laughs> don't you think that's taking your tenure too far? <laughs> Good point. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> okay, I can see that, but why have you gagged yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Suit yourself, but I really think this is inappropriate for school. I'm gonna try to repress this from my memory. All right. Oh wait, should I, uh, I don't know. Turn the lights off. I touched it. I didn't flip the switch, but I touched it. <laughs> Why is every other country labeled not America? Okay. That was funny. The ancient Mayans used to draw these S's because they're so easy to draw. Pull the fire alarm? There, I pulled it. Nothing happened. That can't be up to code. Never mind. Alright, so if we use. It's a number two pencil, but if you ask me, it's number one for popping lockers. So then I drag it to the locker? No pencils still have a use in modern times. Yay! I'll have Grandma sign this later so I can go on the school field trip to the bomb shelter. The locker of yours truly. We've been through a lot to get. Okay, so that's it from there. A delicious wedge. I'll leave the wedgies to the. Ah. Uh. Scientists say the human body is 90% water, and Walter is looking to make it 100%. <laughs> it's okay, I can wait till he finishes. Say, are you done yet? Other I tried to break the world record, <laughs> but it could shoot me into the most water. I yeah, started... you'll die. Uh, careful. You know you can die from drinking too much water, right? Then I'd beat the record for the youngest person to die of a water poisoning. Either way, I'm gonna make a record. I good, simultaneously good for you. question and admire your dedication. Also, your ability to speak while drinking. Oh my goodness. Uh, trash. It's been emptied. Did we get a new janitor? <laughs> I wonder if any of these puppets became real boys. This chalkboard is just full of interesting facts. Just kidding. Who gives a shit? Wow. Hey, look, a bunch of flags. That poster wants me to read it, but I'm a rebel, and I ain't gonna. So do the past, it would, it would define the future. The timeline poster of when your mom was born. Oh, your mom jokes. Judging by her expression, I don't think she cares much about history. Guess that's her story. Oh my goodness. Sure, but maybe I should just toss myself in jail now. You know, bypass all the formalities. Lame. Hey, Jennifer. What? Shh. Not now. She's studying, okay. What if I flick this switch? I touched it. Oh. Mr. Barry sure has a lot of papers to look through. It's a good thing he's criminally underpaid. Man, I don't have to do like any talking during this. Looks like he's in the zone, so I better not disturb him. Hey, I guess. Mr. Barry, how's it? Today, that would make it present class, would it not? <laughs> Just a little history class humor for you, Coop. Oh my God. So looks like you have a lot of papers to grade. Like you have a lot of papers to grade. Ah uh, yes. But did you know the history behind paper? Uh, oh my it god. It comes from trees? Yes, but the process of paper making was invented way back in CE 104 by Kai Lun, a Chinese politician from the Han Dynasty. Gee, that's fascinating. <laughs> Isn't it though? You kids wouldn't learn something like that from your damn video games. Ha! Uh, I learned something from my damn video games. Do you have any deep philosophical things you'd like to tell yeah, me about? Philosophical things you'd like to tell me about the past? Sure do. Those who don't learn from the past are doomed. D 
Doomed to repeat it? No. Just Yo, doomed. That's kind of scary. Yeah, but it sure gets my students to study harder. Mind if I take one of your pens? I take one of your pens? Sorry, but each of those pens has a long history to it. I'd be happy to go into great detail about the history of each pen. After that, we can talk about the history of pens and ink if you like. Who needs Netflix when you can talk about history 24-7? <laughs> cool. Right? Yeah, no thanks. I just wanted a pen. Well, <laughs> my desk isn't an office supply store, so you'll have to find one elsewhere. Speaking of office supply stores, would you like to know the history behind office supplies? Like oh my staples, god. Copy machines and paper clips? Sounds fascinating, but no. Then a rain check it is. Okay. okay. See ya. Well, you certainly won't see me in the past. <laughs> History humor. Oh my god, all the history humor. Looks like this one escaped its bottle. Can I take it? I would, but I get seasick. No. Talk I've to? never been much of a ship talker. Look. Greg has the most twisted face I've ever seen on a human being before. It's as if Dolly painted his face, like someone nailed an egg to the wall. It's a real shame you can't see it. <laughs> Thanks, but I'll touch my own face next time I'm feeling gropey. Holy crap! What happened to your face, Greg? I know, it's horrible, right? <laughs> I can barely stand to look at it. Oh, you think that's bad? Try living with it. It's a mostly eaten apple. I guess that means it'll mostly keep the doctor away. Yeah, sure. Can I take it? Cool. A rotten apple? Maybe there's a sleeping beauty somewhere that'll be my prom date. I don't even know what's in there, and it's probably none of my business. These colors don't run, and right now they won't even flat. That clock is slow. I think it was held back twice in the fourth grade. Oh my god. I often wonder what's older, this school or these books. It still has 9-11 on the front. Ah, a scenic view of a terrible world. I can't tell if these blinds are keeping the light out or the darkness in. Uh, cool. Can I pull the blinds? I hear vitamin D is good for you, so I better leave these open. I guess not. Cool. Peace now. Women's bathroom? I didn't expect this to work. I think the senior girls use that sign to snort cocaine off of. I guess that's a loophole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the radiator. It keeps girls' butts warm, I assume. Y yeah. Yeah, yeah. Someone left their comb on the floor. Or they squat to groom. I really don't know much about girls. <laughs> what? I'd rather punch my grandma than touch that. Girls sit down to pee because they have vaginas. Just a little edutainment for you. Yay, I didn't know that. Thank you. I learned something today. Maybe if I just left all the seats up. I don't like to talk shit. I can never back it up. Oh my goodness. Grandma says girls always wipe front to back, like reading a good book. Feels like a soft double ply. Perfect for delicate ass cheeks like mine. Cool. It looks like a bunch of used red markers in there. Oh no. I don't know why, but I get the feeling I don't want to do that. <laughs> a snack machine? In the bathroom? Yay, oh, I got a tampon. I'll keep this around in case I get any critical wounds. <laughs> oh my god. This had girl lips all over it. Which lips? You be the judge. I don't know where that's been. You and I should call in a bomb threat. I wow. will talk to the toilet paper, but our com pretty terrible. You are the Pandora's box of the girl. Not really. You uh Yeast. Hooray! Now I can bake a cake. Let's just take this, sure. I've had to do my fair share of awful tasks, but getting yeast from the girls' bathroom is now right at the top of that list. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Sometimes I put these in my mouth and pretend it's a gun. That's depressing. Uh, my hair is super dry already. Blow me! Ha <laughs> ha! I am such a teenage boy. Y yeah yeah Somebody left their hair. Well, I hope they don't need it. I, uh, I better not. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna come back for their hair that they left there because they cut their hair. Uh, these are sinks. I hope I don't have to explain that to you. Uh, what's a sink? I don't know. Can you talk I'm to it? I'm not gonna sink to that level. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I've got more puns than friends. Good job. I don't think these actually work on boy hands. Yeah, why would they work on boy hands? Also, I didn't do things with this. Feels like burning flesh. Yay. Hey there, hot stuff. Hey, touch. Like many things in this room. Oh. I'm a boy. I can still smoke in here. It's just girls that can't. Haha, -ha, good. This is the ugliest reflection I've ever seen. Sad. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Damn, nothing. Are you hoping to die? Uh, this is the wrong bathroom for me to touch myself. Okay. Guess I can go to the boys' bathroom and touch myself. Oh, God. It's a good thing somebody altered this sign. Otherwise, kids would surely obey it and never smoke in here. Yeah. I'm confused, sign. The no in no smoking is crossed out, but so is the cigarette illustration. What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> Dig it. You're not going to believe this. It feels like a sign. Damn. Easy, right? We should all be thankful to the radiator for giving us a warm place to poop. Yay. Radiator? I barely knew her. Hey -o. Oh my goodness. Some of these signs. Hot, you dingus. Touch the other one. I can't even yourself in the you're eye. Smart enough, you're smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like you. Cool. He yes. looks underage. I probably shouldn't. I'll just sit here and stare at him to give him motivation. Yeah. Like touching kids while they pee, do you? <laughs> hey. Go away, I'm trying to pee. <gasps> Pe minute, Peter now. Tinklage. Rushing rivers, waterfalls. Oh, Mr. Coffee. Oh. <sighs> I should really get my prostate checked. You're really young to have peeing issues already. It's a urinal. The number one destination for all your number ones. That sure is interesting to look at. Ah, a classic work of art by Marcel Duchamp. You're in a lot of trouble, mister. Oh my god. I usually like to piss at home. You know, where my face won't get shoved into it. Where's the fun in that? Sup? Uh, I can't concentrate on peeing when you <laughs> talk to me. I'm a terrible multitasker. Sucks for you, Any dude. I can help? Sure, I have a quest for you. Can you bring me a roll of, uh, privacy? Cool, oh, Jeff. Hell. Take your hair from lame to tame. Only test it on the coolest animals. Good, good. I probably shouldn't talk to the hair gel in front of the cool boys. Why not? They'll think you're cool. Sweet! Now I can look like a bona fide cool boy, too. Oh, cool. I can wear a pump. I've got enough goop on this coop, but thanks all the same. Dope. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Trophies. Uh, hurt me more. Okay. Chores. Custom. Oh, hell yeah. Those are the cool boys. They don't give two shits about nothing. Sounds good. Touch them. Absorb their... one-way ticket to drown town via the toilet. But it's the cool thing to do. It's a speaker to tell us about lunch, the weather, incoming active shooters, you know, the usual. Yes, the usual. It's a magic box that talks. It's got a lot to say. What's the point of looking at a speaker anyway? Man, I don't have to do any Speakers talking. For hearing. Yeah, yeah, okay, are you... I guess you can't just... whatever. Cool. Talk to them. Time to die. Uh, hey guys. Better be careful. The hall monitor's on a tear out there. Psh, we ain't afraid of no stupid hall monitor. We make our own hall passes, cause we're... so cool. Uh, okay. C can you make me one? Only if you do something for us. What is sure. It? Don't tell me it's using my face for punching practice again. <laughs> Not this time, but we'll keep it in mind. Don't want to get rusty. <laughs> get us the ingredients to make some school hooch. A.K. Scooch, A.K. the Devil's Backwash, A.K. Toilet Wine. We like to get drunk before a dare class. Nice. You mean that alcohol that prisoners make in the toilet? Gross. What are the ingredients? Probably an apple. Here's a list of what we need. Fetch us what's on the list like a good little loser, and we'll get to your hall pass. Don't share the list around, though. It's my mom's secret recipe. Hurry up and get us the shit we need, man. Full of fruit, yeast, a plastic bag, and some sugar. Or are you here for more punching practice? So I just need the sugar. Uh, no thanks. I've had plenty of practice being punched. I'm actually pretty good at it. Then make yourself a moving <laughs> target and get out of here! Yeah, 
Make like a toilet and go find our stuff. Dude, yeah. that doesn't even make sense. Quit being lame or you're gonna lose your leather privileges. Those are the cool boys. They don't give two shit. I can't even count how many times I've been thrown into this one, but I can describe every nook and cranny of the interior. Cool. You wanna talk trash? Bring it on. You suppose that trash may be. I think I carry enough garbage around with me as it is. Okay, cool. Let's uh, get out of here and find that sugar, sugar. Can we go over here? I can't go there without a. Nope. Okay. How about over here? Hey, there we go. Yes, yes, it's a really nice trash can. Search Rifle it. through discarded science lab experiment. You talking trash? Have I made that joke already? Probably. So nice, I said it twice, right? Never gets old. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I wash you'd start the conversation for once. This is the eyewash station I used after Brittany colored in my eyeballs with Sharpies. My eyes don't need to be washed. I washed them last week. Uh, take. Finally, I can explore someone's anatomy. Take. Unless I'm getting school credit for it, there's no need to use the microscope. Uh, take. There, I crushed the tiny organisms in this dish. Happy? No. Uh, take. It's a little too late for CPR. No. Uh, take. This doesn't seem very consensual. Take. No way! I could cut my. Oh, there's sugar right there. Take. Nice. Is that seriously how babies are made? Sure. I worry if I touch it, I'll interrupt the cycle of life. <laughs> or even worse, I'll get pregnant. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. It's a chalkboard, not a talkboard. Lame. If you think learning science is for squares, well, okay, yeah. Judging by those frames, maybe it is. Okay. I can't deny it. I really want his glasses. Snoring. Cool. Uh, hello? It's a bit unsure of what to do with those chemicals. It kind of makes me nervous, to be honest. Hey. I wouldn't want to startle her. She might drop those chemicals and cause the entire school to explode. Imagine that. A chemical explosion happening in this school. That'd be crazy. Yeah, totally crazy. Mixing some chemicals, eh? What are you making? According to my calculations, this should make either some silly putty or a deadly noxious gas. Sweet. Hope it's the uh, second oh, one. I see. Hmm. Could you find out after I leave the room? Thanks. <laughs> Will you go to prom with me? <laughs> That'd be an experiment. Yeah, yeah! Experiment on me! Ew, gross. No. Aw. <laughs> Mary Cure. That's a weird way to sit on a stool. I'm unpopular enough without molesting students. Let's keep it that way. Why is it always a molesting them thing? What thing? you reading? I stumbled upon some weird report Clinton of a supply of toxic chemicals under the school. Seems to be like a secret lab or something. Sounds like a ridiculous conspiracy theory with no truth to it whatsoever. Well, you might be right. Just like you're right about 9-11. Here, this will prevent the government from reading your mind when you play with yourself. This tinfoil cool. hat will keep my thoughts from being transmitted to the mothership. Woohoo. Um, hell yeah. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. I am fabulous. All right, we got. I can't go there without a hall. Okay, I can't go there. How about over here? I can't go there with. Okay, that's it. Cool. So we're gonna go back to the boys' room, and we're gonna make some of that prison wine on the next episode because this is gonna take a while to get through, probably. So I'll see y'all then. I'm Let's look sure at this. Those sprinklers are just for show to give us the illusion of safety in the event of a fire. Yeah, that sounds good. I also realize this game's okay, running at like a million if there was frames. A fire, you wouldn't <laughs> spurt out water to save me. You'd sp yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too cool. high and you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Hey, look, there's something we can look at. What a waste! That TP could have been used on someone's butt. Oh wait, it was. Gross. Wonderful. Can I take it? No thanks. I prefer not to handle used TP. Uh. I see they rolled out the carpet for me, but why is it brown and red? Ooh, and red? That's a problem, dude. Broken tiles, just like my hopes and dreams. Yeah, that sounds about right. No way! With my luck, a teacher will come in and accuse me of smashing up the tiles. Sure. Talking to the floor isn't my style. Oh my god. Reminds me of one of my best Bright friends. Lights. 
bright light, bright light. Lighten up, will ya? Ha, got him. <laughs> Man. Uh, talk to them again. <clears throat> Here you go. Whoa, you came through. I knew you'd do whatever we say, like a little <laughs> bitch. I guess you aren't as pathetic as you look. Uh, thanks. I guess. Yeah, we have your stupid hall pass ready. And if you tell anyone you got it from us, we'll cut you so many times, you'll be begging for a stab. What? Uh, I won't. I promise. Official hall pass. Skipping class without a hall pass. Holly pass. That's how you get a whooped ass. <laughs> Netherton High is not responsible for shotgun wounds. Doo -doo -doo. So sweet! My very own fake hall pass! Finally! Freedom at my fingertips! Let's see Holly try to stop me now! Bitch! Fuck yeah! Freedom! Thanks for playing the Freak Apocalypse demo! Oh, is that it? Well, I'm just gonna append this on to the other episode. I didn't realize it was literally that last, that little bit left. Sweet. Anyway, I guess this is the end of the episode for real this time. So, stay life full, stay insane. Happy day. Peace.